guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Brooke I am a homeschool mom of seven today's video I am going to be going over our curriculum that we will be using for the 2022-2023 school year I will go ahead and start with my oldest son Ezra who is 16 for many different reasons we have decided to do a GED prep course for him I will probably go into detail about that maybe at a later date but as for right now that is what we're doing for him in the morning time we usually do a morning basket and I have several different books sometimes we pick three four different books and we read a little bit out of each book just to get us awake in the morning have a little bit of time together before we start our day that is what we do before we start any other curriculum we do the morning basket history is usually the first thing that we do after morning basket and sometimes we don't do morning basket sometimes we just are late in the day late getting up or whatever the reason if we don't do morning basket we usually do history the history curriculum that we are doing is one that we've been doing the last two years and that is the story of the world this one is going to be covering early modern times it comes with a teacher guide and it's a pretty thick book and there is quite a bit in here the way that i do this curriculum is by picking and choosing if i want to do any activities in here because it does come with several activities you can choose from with cooking activities or arts and crafts for example as you open it up to chapter one the title is a world of empires it goes over different cross references that you can go through then it talks about the holy roman empire and then it has a bunch of review questions that you can ask your children and they can answer or you can help them answer and then it goes over the narration exercise where your student can narrate the chapter for you and tell you what it was about it gives you a whole list of additional reading that you can get from the library and then it has corresponding literature suggestions and it comes with map work and coloring pages and those come with your student packet and then it has a list of projects there's a math activity a craft activity a game activity and another activity project i just use the extra projects in here that come with that come along with each chapter as a an optional choice because i know from experience when we have done a lot of these projects they're just so time consuming depending on which ones you do the student packet it is already pre hole punched i have a binder that i keep all of this in that i'll switch out last year's and it has all of the map work it's got the coloring pages it also has review pages as well in here that you use throughout the year to go over with your children this is the test booklet I give this to my 13 year old. The younger ones don't do this, just my 13 year old. I look inside, it says test book and answer key. It has fill in the blanks and then it has multiple choice as well as true and false. And then a question that your student has to answer in a few sentences. Those are the tests. You can either rip them out and give them to your student or have your student just do them. If you don't want them to have the answer key in the back, just in case they might look at it, then maybe just rip it out and give them the test. Here is the book of Story of the World. We got the hardcover. The paperback is cheaper, but we just like to get the hardcover. It's a pretty good sized book. There are 42 chapters in this book and some, some chapters a little bit longer than others. This is for the early modern times that we are doing with this curriculum. The math that we are doing for my 13 year old is teaching textbooks. We have been doing that for the last two years as well. It has like a little digital scratch pad on the screen and it goes through the problem step by step allows him to go through the problem step by step and he can even get actual paper to write the problems out and he does that too he'll get a piece of paper and just write out the problems and work it that way it is a year-long commitment i believe or or the when you pay for it you have a year to get it done you can pause it if you need to you can redo lessons if you need to you can also check your child's average and see how they're doing and if they're not doing well you can have them redo different lessons if you need to it's been a good fit so far if after this year we see that it's not helping them as much as we would like then we'll move on but right now that is what we're doing and it's pretty affordable so 
that's what we're doing there. Moving on to language arts for my 13 year old, we are doing moving beyond the page. We really wanted something heavy as far as materials, content, and all of that when it came to language arts. There's 11 of these. This one is called Great American Poets, and this says semester two, unit five. Inside, it goes through the table of contents, how to use the Moving Beyond the Page curriculum. It goes over the student plan, the parent overview, how long you should be taking to do the language arts, or is recommended. It goes over the required books, the materials list that you will need for whatever projects that you are going to do. It goes over the unit review sheets, lesson one, poetry basics, getting started, and then it goes over what is what you need to do for it, any information that you need to know about this, it tells you the materials that you need, ideas to think about, things to know, just different things to know, different definitions, and then the activity. And activity two, activity three, vocabulary, and then at the end, wrapping up extra pages that your student will need to use for the activities that he's doing. Activity two, so that's for activity two, those two were. Then activity three, and it goes to lesson two. This also came with several books that he'll be reading and working with as he moves along these different students guides. These are some of the books that he'll be doing. The Book Thief, The House of the Scorpion, Abigail Adams, To Kill a Mockingbird, Animal Farm, Elijah Buxton, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, Watership Down. This curriculum also came with The Story of Science, Einstein Adds a New Dimension, 101 Great American Poems, and then this handy guide to writing, which I love. As you look inside, it shows you the table of contents, parts of speech, noun, and all of the different ways to use it. I just think this is really cool to have as a guide to look through. So as you look through, it's just really neat. Like I said, this is a very heavy curriculum and it's going to be a lot of work, but I think it's going to be a great fit for him. So if your student needs a heavier curriculum like mine does, just keep in mind that it's pricey but I think it's worth it. The science that we are doing this year is called Elemental Science. We've done a couple others and it just hasn't worked out so far, so we're gonna try something new. For Elemental Science, there is the classic, the classical science, I believe, and then you can do Sassafras. We're doing biology for the logic stage for Aiden. It comes with a teacher guide that looks like this. You can also purchase this digitally if you don't want the books themselves, but I really like having the actual books to have. This is the teacher guide, like I said, and this is the student guide. So it's about as thick as the teacher guide. You have to purchase two different spines for it. So the first one is the Kingfisher Science Encyclopedia. It's pretty thick, heavy book. The Usborn Science Encyclopedia. We also purchased the experiment kit as well to go with this curriculum. So we'll see how that goes. He chose biology. He did biology last year with another curriculum, but it just wasn't the best curriculum. So we're hoping that this works out better as far as science goes. So that is it for Aiden's curriculum. Now I'm going to go over the curriculum that we're doing for my nine-year-old twins and my seven-year-old as well as my four-year-old son because we are getting him more implemented into the curriculum and school schedule this year as much as he can take. Obviously he is four so he's not going to necessarily be able to stay as engaged as the older boys are but that's okay as i've already said before they are included in our history curriculum that i've already gone over they listen as i read the chapters or as aiden reads the chapters whoever wants to read and then they can color and do the map work those are the two main things that they do as far as involvement is with the history curriculum and any projects that we do as well. For math, we are doing Matthew C. We are not quite done with last year's math just due to it being self-paced. We've had to really make sure that because this curriculum is a mastery-based approach, 
that we take our time and they master the concept before we move on. They're almost done with the curriculum and onto the next level, but we are still in the process of doing math. My nine-year-olds are finishing up Gamma for Math UC right now. This is the teacher book for it. It's just a hard covered book that helps me to go through and be able to see and explain it better to them. It also has the test answers here in the back for not only the tests, but their practice problems. So that way you're not having to go through their student book and have to do the math yourself to grade the problems. So this is the student book. Here's a look at my son Ethan's. It has several different questions and it has several different word problems. It has letters A through G. Typically, when you start a new lesson, they start with 23A, and then the next day they do 23B, 23C, and D and E, and then F and G. They can go anywhere from three days for them to finish the entire lesson to up to two or even three weeks, depending on how they're learning and needing that time to learn the concept. This is a test book, and it has not only lesson tests, but it has unit tests and has several chapters put together into one test as they move along. These are our blocks that we use. It comes with unit blocks all the way to the hundreds. And I bought these containers for the boys a year or so ago to fit their blocks because they actually don't come in something like this. They come in a cardboard box. We got these boxes off of Amazon and I just use our label maker and put their names on the boxes and that's how that works. Once the twins are done with Gamma, they'll be moving on to Delta and then Asher, my seven year old, he is almost done with Alpha and he's moving on to Beta and I already have his Beta workbook and test book. We already have the teacher book because Everett did beta when he first started with homeschool curriculum. It's still wrapped up because Asher is still finishing up his alpha. He's got a couple chapters left and then he's on to the new curriculum. That's what we're doing for math. I love that it has a hands-on approach when it comes to using the blocks as well as writing everything out. So it's been a really great curriculum. We are just going to continue on with it and see how that goes. A lark, my four-year-old, we don't do an actual curriculum for math for him. We actually have some books that I had purchased before on Amazon and we also have this mathematics game and it's like a little puzzle game that we can use for him. This is one of the workbooks that we purchased for him off of Amazon. He's done a little bit of it, but it's just something to help him, something simple that he can do. Moving on to reading. We have been doing all about reading for Ethan Everett and Asher, and now we will be doing the pre-reading for Alaric. The pre-reading all about reading is really simple. Because we already had a pre-reading curriculum set, that I had purchased when Asher started kindergarten. We went ahead and decided that this year we're gonna go ahead and do the pre-reading for Alaric. This is just what the teacher book looks like. It comes with a couple little books in here. We're gonna order the student book and he'll have some coloring pages to go over and it looks very similar to what these look like. The coloring page, it looks a lot like this, whatever letter it is. Asher is now on level two. We already had the teacher manual for level two. This is what this looks like. These are the two books that it comes with, level one and level two. This is the only thing that we have had to purchase for Asher this year when it comes to reading is the student book. Everett is now on to level three. So Ethan did this level last year. Everett's gonna be doing it this year. This is the teacher book we already had. It's similar to all of the other teacher books. It comes with two readers, so level one or volume one, volume two, and then we purchased the student book for him. Ethan is on a brand new level. He's on level four of All About Reading. We had to purchase the teacher book as well as the student book and actual readers because we didn't have that set yet. Here's a look at the teacher manual for level four the student workbook, and two of the readers, volume one, volume two. It also comes with these cards that you have to purchase. The only thing I really don't like about this curriculum is having to take apart all of these cards and set up the boxes. It's time consuming. It's got the phonogram cards and then it has the word cards back here that are green. You just tear them apart and you put them in a box that you purchase with it. This is how the box is set up. 
We are also doing spelling for Ethan, Everett, and Asher. The spelling we're doing is called All About Spelling. There is a teacher manual for spelling. You only get a teacher manual. You don't get a student workbook for spelling. Then it comes with a box that looks just like the All About Reading box. This box is a lot like the All About Reading box. It has word cards, it has phonogram cards. The spelling goes a little bit more in depth with the sounds than the All About Reading does. And then there's science. We are doing the elemental science, like I said we were doing with Aiden. It's called elemental science for the grammar stage. This is what the teacher guide looks like. This pretty thin book. I don't have much to say about this curriculum yet because it's brand new and we haven't done it yet. I got three students workbooks for Ethan Everett and Asher and then I also ordered the coloring pages digitally digitally um, so that way my four-year-old can get involved we can print off I can go in there and print off some coloring pages with whatever lesson we're working on and he can color and feel like he's involved with it because obviously he doesn't need a student handbook so this is just for the older boys I'll go ahead and show you the books that come with it this one is first earth encyclopedia and then first space encyclopedia so what it looks like inside I like that the print is not super small and then it's not so much. I like that we should be able to just go through this and it not be so much information that they get bored. It's got lots of pictures. This one is the, the earth one and then the first space one. It's got really cool pictures. Ethan actually has a toy that looks just like this in his room. These books are fairly thin and there's two that go with this. We also got a experiment lab kit as well that just comes with all of the materials that we need for the labs. We'll see how that goes. It does look like it's going to be interesting and fun for the kids. Science is one of their favorite subjects. We are also going to be doing homeschool band this year. We did homeschool band last year as well and the kids really enjoyed it. My twins are both going to be playing the clarinet. Aiden is going to be playing trumpet again this year, and Ezra is going to play the saxophone. We also have homeschool PE that a lot of the other homeschool community parents get together, and that'll be another thing that we do this year, as well as field trips that the community also sets up together. That's some other options for us to do. I know I didn't go into too much detail about this curriculum that we're doing this year, so if anyone has any questions, please comment down below and I will answer any questions you guys have. I also don't mind doing another video and going into more detail about any of this curriculum that we are doing this year as we become more familiar with some of it. I think I covered everything. If anyone has any questions, like I said, please comment down below. And if you wanna follow our family, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.